Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Professor Sistrunk, and I'm reaching out to my CIS 101 students. Okay, we are in the new week, and like I said, I promised you I'm going to be sending videos out every week helping you through this course and making sure that you are on the right track and that you will not have to panic about anything because you are a student in the know. Okay, so let's move forward. As you can see, I am in D2L and you can actually see my D2L portal. Now, what I want to do in this particular video log is walk us through the things we need to do for this particular week. And I'm going week by week so you can be in the know and not have to worry about anything. So as you can see, I'm showing you my portal. Now, one of the things that you had to do for me last week was one, go into your D2L portal, two, Go into my IT labs, get that account established, and three, get your solo learn account established. All you had to do as far as work was, guess what? A discussion question. Really simple, no hard work. Just tell me a little bit about yourself so I'll know what type of students I am working with. And as you can see, all of you went in there and just had fun giving your information out. Now I know professor going to be reading through all this and he's going to be making comments and you're going to be like, wow. But it's important for me to see that you're collaborating, seeing where you are and what you think. But it's really simple. And I'll talk about the discussion questions in my next video log that will come out. But I want to make sure you in the know on what you have to do this week. Now, what do you have to do? So the first thing that I would tell you as a student is, I'm going to go up here and log in under Students View so you can see what I see and I can see what you see, and it'll be just like you logging in as a student. I'm going to come over here to Content first. And the reason I'm going to come to Content, because I want to click on a particular section. I want to click on Course Schedule. Now, when I click on course schedule, it gives me the opportunity to see what I need to complete inside of D2L. Now, you, you were supposed to go download your syllabus so you can have your syllabus handy. So, you know, in D2L, this is just a couple of things I have to do, but I have to go some other places and complete some more work. So that tells me what needs to be done in D2L. But I'm going to go over here to assignments because assignments is where I have to teleport myself outside of D2L and go somewhere else. So I have a basic concepts I have to complete. So I click on that basic concepts. But the thing is, I have to add a file. So how do I add that file? I know that this is what? This is Solo Learn. So I will go over to Solo Learn and I can see Solo Learn. Now I had a discussion with a student this week about Solo Learn and many other other particulars. And I want to make sure that everybody are in well, pretty much everyone is in the know on what what to do. So this is where I am going now. So I'm in Solo Learn. I've teleported myself outside of D2L. So the next thing I want to do is get inside of here. So I'm going to go courses. Now you can click sign in, but I like to go this route. Click on courses from courses. Now, another thing I want to talk about is sometimes solo learn moves a little slow. You have to realize this is a free application from a non-for-profit organization that's trying to teach people all around the world how to program. And the college want us to make sure that every student has an opportunity to touch on some programming. So as you can see right here, I am now inside of the Solo Learn course selection. Here are many courses. Your course per se is this here. 
But the important part about this is I will have you download a file and then upload it into this particular section. Okay? So we're going to come back because Solar Learn working out some things or my internet is slow. Which one is it? Who knows? Anyway, let's move on. So I'm going to go to content now. Once I go to content, I want to go to this section right here, which is called My Lab IT. I'm going to click on that. Okay. Once I click on that, I see all these different choices I, I want to choose from. But it's only one choice I really need. And that's here. My Lab IT course material. That's the one you should click on. It's a lot of other things you can click on. And you may have a better way to get to this stuff. I'm just showing you the one that I click on all the time. So I'm going to click there. Okay. So now this will teleport me into another third-party application. It moves me over to this third-party application, which is called My Lab IT or My IT Lab. Excuse me. Okay. Now, students, whatever you see in here in the form of folders, you may see two folders, four folders, three folders, because I'm teaching multiple classes in this section. All you have to do as a student is click on Today's view. Once you click on today's view, you will know exactly what you have to do. So let's just make sure we do that. Don't go into the folders if you don't have to, but today's view. Now, if I click here and close that pop-up, this will tell me exactly what I have to do. Now, sometimes this will be a little different. In some cases, it may be five, four, six, three, two, one, but you know just to click on that and it'll tell you exactly what you have. It'll give you current due. So what is current due is these assignments. So now you see you have three more assignments to complete within here. My IT lab. Wow, this is simple, professor. You laid it out for me. That's me acting like I'm a student. But anyway. It's really simple. Now, you can go ahead and start one of these assignments, but I know some students are going to be like, Professor, I need to go through the book and I need to read it. And that's absolutely right. But let's just look around in here. Now you know what assignments I do. You know the name of the assignment, so you can't be confused. You can click on complete assignments, unread comments, etc., etc. You can look through this. These will change as you proceed to do your work. But we're going to come back here. Now that you know what you need to do, your next step will be going back to here, course material, and say, view all course material. Click that. Now, I'm looking at this just like a student will look at it. What you see on my screen, uh, what you see on your screen should be the same thing that's on my screen. I got kind of mixed up on that one. <laughs> but anyway, so besides the folders, this may look a diff little different to you. So if you want, you can go into the folders. Like, for instance, if I click here, this will list what I have to do this week. You can go that route, too. I would advise you not to. And in some cases, you'll see an e-textbook. And if you click on that e-textbook, it'll give you your book you need to read through and go through. Okay? So that was one way. And I told you last week about the breadcrumbs. So I'm going to come back here by clicking on one of the breadcrumbs and actually bag back. Now, I can also go here in this folder here and it will show me a lot of different things I can use too. It may take me through particular chapters. Now, if your screen do not show this, don't worry. You can go in here and get your e-textbooks too. Everything is in here for you. Just browse through the folders when you want to find your e-textbooks. But now you can come here and click on class activities and you can see various material in there you can go through too. It's pretty much going to tell you what I told you from the beginning. But remember, for anything you need to go through, you can start right here, today's view. And from today's view, 
you can actually walk through this material. Now, I want to point out something here. Let's say, for example, you're a student in one of my other classes and you just saw all this stuff and you say, well, Professor, I don't know if my stuff looks like that. I, I really don't know. Well, as a professor, I can prove to you that your information will look the same way, but you may have different folders. So let me show you, if you're a student in my other class, how things will look. So I'm going to bring over another class. Now watch me slide this other class over. Here we go. Okay, there it is. You may come in as a student and see folders like this. And the same thing, if you come up to today's view, you're going to see the exact same thing. Now, remember I told you things may look a little different up here. Now, look, it says five activities. But when you click on the tab, it's going to tell you exactly what you need to do for this week. And there it is. Three activities in here. And look at it. Current do three. So don't get discouraged with that number. Just make sure you click on it and then it'll show you what you need to do. I hope that was helpful when it comes to here. And now some students going to say, well, Professor, if I go into the folder, remember I went up to course material, I chose view all course material, and you can go into the folders. And when you go into your folders, multiple folders are in here, class, at, at, uh, class, activities, ebooks, you have all the material in there so you cannot get lost about anything. I'm gonna move that over. I just wanted to show that sometimes students will say, my, 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 my demonstration do not look like that demonstration. Well, okay, calm down, we got you. Okay, so that's in my IT lab. Now let's go back over here to SolarLearn. Now if you notice right here, you're going to run into this, and I wanted to show you this. You're going to run into SolarLearn showing particular problems sometimes, and that's good. All you have to do is be patient, click on the courses again, and once you click on these courses again, you can come right back, and it's, it'll just let you right in. I mean, it does that. Okay, it's... You have to remember, this is a free application, and you got people all around the world doing this. Now, once you go in here and you choose the lesson you want to do first, you click the lesson, and you have to sign in. But I want to go back because I want to show you what you pretty much will have to make sure of. In your lessons, you notice that you have all these particulars. Each one of these are a particular section. So basic concept, if I come over here and go to assignments, I should see basic concepts right there. So that's what I need to upload. Now, in order to upload this, I need to co complete everything in basic concept. So all of this material, all the way to here, must be completed. Once you complete it, then you're going to give me a snapshot. Well, you may say, Professor, how do I give you a snapshot of all the completed work? Oh, simple. You simply use a tool like Snippet. I have this snipping tool on my computer, or you can take a picture and upload it, however you want to do it. When you get to the last thing in here, it's going to say everything is completed, and all you have to do is just take a picture of it. And once you take that picture, I'm, I'm not going to take a picture. I'm actually going to use this tool. I can copy this to my desktop, save the file, and if you took a picture, it'll be the same thing. Save it to my desktop, give it a name, and once I give it a name, I download it to my desktop, and there it is. I have it saved. I can close it. I go back over to my section. I think I have it open. No, I don't. I'm going to click on the link. And once I click on the link, all I will have to do is upload that picture. So I'm going to go to my computer. I'm going to click Upload. I'm going to look for that particular picture, which is right here. And I'm going to click open. 
and from now add to my there it is right there and all I have to do now is click submit that's it you just took a snapshot or a picture and you uploaded it in here and I'll review it to see that you did everything and give you a grade simple right of course it is so now I want to keep this a short video I'm gonna come out of student view I want to keep it real short and what I'm gonna do right now is send this out to you and if you have any comments reach out to me if you need more assistance reach out to me we can do a zoom or whatever but now you are in the know you know exactly what must be completed this week let's go to work people we have this we can do it this is professor sistrunk signing off and tell me in your emails and your comments if this was helpful if it's not and you need more reach out to me